In order to be a technology trendsetter in the bearing industry, we focus on science and customers. We unite with our customers in close and highly involved relationships driven by joint values. We practice science by market-driven research and development in search of the best solution possible. This scientific research is mainly done in our engineering and research centre, located in the Netherlands. We are the only bearing industry using this technique. The challenge is to understand what is happening in tribological contact and from this to improve the quality of the lubricants and of the materials that we are using in bearing application. If you look at a wind turbine, um, it, it's, it's a relatively complex machine, but they're placed in, in any location in the world. That also means that our customers do want to do as little maintenance as possible. And with our calculations, we can guarantee that the bearings will survive in that harsh environment. Yeah, so this is what we are measuring. I think it's very interesting to work together to find out what really happened in the application. Why did this bearing fail earlier than expected? For instance, uh, you can apply and use the X-ray to find out what really happened within the bearing. The X-ray diffraction measurement provides us many useful information in order to predict more reliably the surface life of the bearing in the customer applications. We have uh, equipment that enables us to take ideas up to prototype level and produce these prototypes that can then be tested in a real-world environment. And this can accelerate the time that we could produce a potential product as well. Racing for SKF is like the fastest test track we can have. Last year a new technology was developed in ERC and with the special coating that was done on this seal we were able to bring down significantly the friction in the bearings and in the gearbox of the customer. And within four weeks time he was winning races with that. The equipment behind me is used to look at the quality of a new component. They are equipped with UV light, and this enables us to uh, apply a technique called fluorescent penetrant inspection that detects very easily fine defects in these materials, so very quickly the quality of the material is assessed. It's a safety-critical application in the air and therefore we have to be very strict on defining what is allowed and needed actually. Therefore our customers appreciate a lot uh, the support we give in combination also with our research capabilities because when it comes to new materials like ceramics we try to support and help them by doing together research in terms of defining the right material properties and also the tolerances which are allowed for these applications. With R0F++ we measure grease life or grease performance and in the test we try to simulate say 10 years of operation at the customer in a test which lasts for a couple of weeks to a few months. With the test results we advise our customer when to replace grease in the bearing or when to apply relubrication. At NetRain they have a bearing investigation team in this team are some people from NetRain, 
and people from SKF. Together we look to the bearings and we help them to extend the bearing service life. With our knowledge on grease lubrication in bearings, we can provide them innovative solutions to meet their future demands. By using different uh, modes of uh, scanning electron microscope, we can go through mapping uh, through very deep insight, and I mean around 30, 50 k magnification to see what is really beneath this what we cannot see in the normal microscope. Now we see that customers come to SKF because of our knowledge. We are the one they want to work with because we know a lot about the quality of the bearing, about the lifetime of the bearing, but also about the condition monitoring, so the operating of the bearing. And in the end, if you are in a ship in the middle of the ocean, that's more crucial than cheapest, fastest option. The Engineering and Research Center plays a huge role in the development of innovative and customized solutions. The input of the customer and the expertise of our front line is combined with our knowledge in order to find the best future solutions available. <laughs> Performing as one to be number one is the power of knowledge engineering. <laughs>